One thing nice about this rack is that you can get it all together in one location and it's all organized. I started putting it in here. That's where I started with my first bin and first couple of bins. And I'm then so I was so cramped in here and I couldn't really get everything in there that I wanted. So now I've decided I'll take it out of the pantry and create my own baker's rack. And then I have the option to make it as big as I need to. And this is how big it turned out to be. Keep my bulk is I've got my beans, the same beans that correspond to this bin, um, I have here in bulk. In, and so each one holds four gallons, which for our family is a year supply. So that makes up the square, and it's a nice little tabletop. So I know that that looks pretty industrial, but you put a tablecloth over it, and no one ever knows it's there. I just went and bought one tile, it's a 20 by 20, and it just fits nicely on top of here. So here's one of the bucket tables I have in my home, and no one has ever noticed that that's what it is, but it is exactly the configuration I just showed you with the eight buckets. And so I have another set here of the same beans. So now I've got two years of time, just because I have two tables. Guess what this TV is sitting on? Another bucket table. In this case, I have wheat, and I know where my wheat is. It's right there. So it takes 12 buckets of wheat to make a year supply for one adult. So you're going to need a couple of tables of wheat. This was another idea I had down in the basement. This is just a bunch of uh, buckets that I have stored, and I went ahead and put a shelf across them so I can have a little workspace down here. And it gives me something to put stuff on, which I'm always – assembling or doing something with my books and I got myself a little countertop to work on. I went ahead and covered it with a piece of cloth. The nice thing about the shelf idea is that if you put a shelf on there, then all you really have to keep intact in place are these two buckets on the outside. You could actually take these buckets out, use them, and empty them. As long as you still have your outside buckets, you still got a table. You can also buy them from bulk suppliers already in the number 10 cans. All you need is a couple of shelves and you can start storing those. You can just and put one of these seals on and keep them down here until you need to refill those smaller ones. Up. They yes. cannot be in a garage or a porch or someplace where there's no air conditioning. And the other ones are held up with these little brackets.